hey guys welcome back to another video all right guys so uh yeah in today's video i'm gonna try to finally take down boss uh, zatanna so uh yeah i you know without uh, wasting any time let's begin the video all right so guys if you're new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time i would like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this all right guys so uh yeah i'm probably gonna go with uh with the same setup you know what what i'm gonna do no you know what let's let's go with frown of conduct okay this is fine okay soul token or something like that yep all right so let's begin the first fight of uh, the day you know it's irritating sometimes that bosses like zatanna can take up to four and five pips uh, to defeat she does a lot of dot damage even if your characters are like uh, you know tankier she still does a lot of damage you know dot damage you just have to avoid tagging out in the beginning You know, just avoid tagging out because if you tag out and when she does uh, the specials her damage uh, on dot will also eventually increase you know so I'm just trying to combo interrupt over here. Whoops. Alright, she's back in. As you can see over there, look at the DOT damage. Whoops. Come on, you gotta finish this guy. No, 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 no. Not like that. Come on, Matt. Seriously. No. Ha. Huh, that was not good. Let me just set up the team real quick. Let's see the damage. Ah. One more. One more hazard effect. And this boss would have been dead. Alright guys, so this team should be uh, yeah, good enough to take down at least the remaining health, which is 49 million. So I have Dark Metal cards on um, Heartbreaker, Harley Quinn, nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, I have Zatanna's Puppet on Zatanna. And uh, I haven't added Region Matrix on EPI. So let's see how it goes. I'm really worried about that now. I have, uh, yeah, you know, I think I have uh, the Twin Blade. No. Okay, come on. I need to get some health back. This has been the whole issue, you know. Let's get some health back. Let's hope she does not tag out now. Just a few seconds more. Mm. Yeah, that was lucky, actually. Okay. All right, so finally Zatanna is dead. And uh, yeah, let's see what rewards are waiting for us in the inbox.
there we go. She was she was a true pain, you know. And uh, yeah, we got to fight some uh, sub bosses as well, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe I might be able to defeat at least a couple of them today. Let's see how it goes. Still got like four pips left. Oh, okay. This is nice, actually. Spear of Destiny. Infernal Artifact. This is the third solo raid artifact. I'm talking about the different one, okay? I got the Soul Token. I got uh, the Twin Blade. And now this is Spear of Destiny. Let's take a look at what it does. Ha, huh, okay. It looks good, though. A successful special abilities inflicts DOT for 10 seconds, which deals 12% damage of the wearer's attack stats for each combo meter and stacks up to 900%. Okay, all right, plus 33% fast attack chance on DOT affected opponent. All right, ignores opponent's DOT immunity. Okay, this is good actually, you know. This is this is good, you know. Maybe we could use it on Heartbreaker Harley Quinn, you know, like uh, on those bosses who are not not affected uh, with DOT. So this is good. This is good, you know. I, I'm gonna try it right now. I'm gonna give it a try. So uh, let's let's first set up the team. All right, guys. So we're gonna fight against Boss the Flash. Opponents disabled ability. Opponents abilities cannot be disabled. Okay, this one is also not that. Uh, difficult all right so i have directly added the new solo raid artifact that i've received uh spear of destiny and uh yeah and let's see how it goes you know let's see how the artifact is we don't have any sort of uh you know resistance or for lethal attacks or stuff like that on this particular boss so uh and i have the twin blade on raven and i have the soul token on dr fate so today was a lucky day you know obviously so let's see let's see what brings next i'm really excited to test out this artifact okay there we go Oh, DOT has begun. Now, since this is just a level 1 artifact, so this might not be doing the damage that we think it would at level 1. But you never know. Okay, the DOT is increasing. Just need to keep hitting it. Alright. Should be dead. There we go. 175 just on DOT that is not bad and that is just a level 1 artifact that we are using let's see it stacks up to 900% that's what it has been said 900% on level I mean I, I think the percentage cap won't increase as we increase the level There we go. 4.5 million. All right. I think, I just think maybe I could have done a bit more damage with dark metal cards on. But yeah, this is also not that bad. I mean, I'm getting some extra DOT damage to cover that up. There we go. Uh, 
there we go. That was not a critical hit. This one is. It's not that... I mean, it's decent. You know, it's not like the best artifact, obviously. It's decent. I mean, it will eventually do more damage as we progress. Yeah, that's one thing. It could be a better artifact at level, you know, let's say level 7, 8, maybe. All right. There we go. That could have been better with uh, dark metal cards, I would say. But anyways, we got to try. We had to try. So let's move on. All right, guys. So I have uh, Nora Snow Globe on Deathstroke. I have uh, Spear of uh, twin, the Twin Blade. I'm sorry, the Twin Blade on Black Adam. And I have uh, uh, Spear of Destiny or whatever it is called. The new artifact on Power Girl just to get some increased health. So the tag and timer is a bit longer. That doesn't bother us. There we go. Just got to keep doing the specials now. Let's see if we can pull out like at least 80%. That is a possibility over here. Come on. Just a little bit more power before I let him die. Or yeah, maybe that's about it. There we go. No, you're not going to... Oh, no. Mm, that was bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to let him die. How did that happen? Please don't die. And he is dead. Just too strong, Swamp Thing. Or I guess it's just not my day to do 80% damage. Where are you going to run now, Swamp Thing? I'm not going to do any damage with this. There we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Nothing will happen. Because we are done with the percentage damage for Black Adam. Uh, it's just... An, a matter of time. Well, I had Nora Snow Globe on Deathstroke, and but Black Adam survived for the whole match, and Deathstroke's dead. That's irony. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, no regrets because I did some decent damage with Black Adam as well. Not at the end of the match, at the beginning of the match. All right, so let's move on to the next pip. All right, so uh, this will be the last pip for the day. I have the Twin Blade, level 2 on Manta. I have Zatanna's Puppet, level 5 on Brainiac. And uh, Spear of Destiny on Green Lantern. Let's see if that shield survives. No, it won't survive long. That's for sure. Come on, Zatanna's Puppet, show me your magic. Resistance is 
There we go. What? Just had those infinite... L just had infinite power. Come on. Once again. Now we're talking. Just keep hitting the guy. One more time. Tag in Manta, do the super move, and let's begin. Good thing that he's blind. Okay, this is gonna be a messy fight. <laughs> because the shield's gone. And my stacks for basic attack damage are also gone. There we go. Stun, 82. And this is not working out, man. I should have used Dark Metal cards. That would have been way, way better. And this damage will be nothing. Yeah, it will... It's nothing. Yeah. It is nothing. <clears throat> Alright guys, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Be blessed and stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.